All right, quick tutorial video. Got a customer, got a Wonder Bar gun. Now, when they press the water button down, water comes out. But when they press the orange juice button down, syrup comes out, but no water. So there's definitely water at the gun, but no water at the orange juice. This could be a couple of things. First thing we do is we remove the button plate. Two screws, one above, one below. And the plate just comes straight off. Under that, you'll see four metal plates. Now, the top two metal plates do soda water, and the bottom two metal plates do plain water. So when you press the soda water button down, these on each end push down these two plates, and you get soda water. When you press the plain water button down, it pushes them both down, and you get plain cold water. Now this plate here and this hole here does orange juice. As you can see this plate is longer and has three holes that's because it controls the soda water and the three flavors on that side are lemonade, tonic and ginger ale. All of those are mixed with soda water. On the other side there is cola and squash at the top which get mixed with the soda water and the orange juice at the bottom which gets mixed with plain water. So this is the orange juice hole right here. The two holes at the bottom are actually free. There's nothing on those two holes. You can get an eight button gun that has two extra holes here and here. The soda water button are actually hidden under the plates there and there, and the water ones are hidden under the plates there and there. So one thing it could be is this plate has somehow moved or is not depressing properly. So once you've got the gun off, what I'd suggest is push this button down, push this button down, and see if water comes out, then push this button down and see if water comes out. Now if water comes down, comes out, when you push this button down, then there is definitely water on this side of the gun, and it's the actual button itself that's the issue. But if no water comes out, then what I'd suggest doing would be to remove this screw. And double check this pin right here. It's the pin you can't see because there's no hole there. Make sure it goes up and down and it depresses. Press it down with a screwdriver and see if water comes out. Water should come out of that hole when you do that. If it doesn't, then the gun itself is defective. It needs to be returned and replaced because when you push that button down there, water should definitely 100% come out. If it does like it's supposed to, then we put the plate back together again. Now, if you, if there's no water coming out when you press the orange juice button down, but there's water coming out when you press the plate down. What it is, is a button issue. On the bottom of these buttons, there are there is a spike. That spike goes through the hole here and pushes down the syrup. But if you have a look, there's also a bar on each side. That bar pushes down the plate. Sometimes buttons can be defective, they can get damaged, and that bar doesn't push the plate down in which case this button needs to be replaced. They're worth about 50 cents, so we're more than happy to provide them. So that's what I'd check first. Remove this plate, push this button down, and see if water comes out. If water comes out when you push this plate down, make sure it's in place. Make sure if you've got orange juice, the plate configuration's like this. Make sure this plate, there, that plate is there and not another one of these long plates. If there's one of these long plates, soda water will be coming out. So I've got to assume that they've got the right plate in the gun. So push this down, make sure you've got the plain water coming out. If it does, then it's a button issue. Make sure it's in firmly. When you screw these ones in, screw them in just so it tightens up. Don't over tighten. If you over tighten, it will hold the plate down rather than holding it in place. If it holds it down, 
then water or soda water will continuously come out of here. If that happens, simply open the gun up and back this screw off a little bit. That's what I'd suggest trying first.